Pepino, 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 Pepino! Okay. Vamos? Wait. That's kind Primero, of look at this vista. You speak wow. in Spanish, I speak English. Hola a todos, uh, bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. Soy Christina Birkenrode. I'm Christina Birkenrode, and this is Cat McDonald. Okay, so we have the questions that you guys asked us on Instagram. Tengo los preguntas que ustedes preguntan en Instagram. Aquí hay muchos, hay muchísimos. Y... I don't know how many we're gonna answer, but we'll just go with it. As many as we can. Yeah. As many as can fit in my phone's storage. What's your favorite thing about Mexico? Oh, haha, I love the food. We had an amazing tostada. Wow, let me tell you, juicy. Salsa verde? Muy bueno. Do you like salsa rojo? Uh, haven't had the best experience yet. Only had it once. Okay. So. Mexican food. The were amazing at this one place we went to. I'm not sure where it was. Mejor equipo de fútbol del mundo. Our favorite soccer team in the world. Personally, 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 I like Real Madrid. Um, but I mean, I have a lot of love and respect for the way a lot of teams play um, in the Premier League. I love Chelsea. <laughs> so, what about you? Well, my club growing up was like in collaboration with Chelsea. So I always really liked Chelsea, um, but we always tried to like mirror how Barcelona played in college too. Like we always watched their clips, like Tiki Taka, like clean soccer, pass the ball, keep it, keep it on the floor. Uh, you guys are funny. Do you want a girlfriend to Pepino? Um, no, I think he's really enjoying the single life right now. <laughs> I don't think he's really re re ready for a relationship. He's still young. He's okay. still really young. Three months. Let's not forget that. We'll give it a little more time for him to get a novia. <laughs> I've seen the way the female dogs look at him here though. It's crazy. Okay. What is the most important thing in your friendship? Mm. That's a good question. Thank you, Leigh. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big, I think loyalty is huge. Just for me, like when I... Pepino, Pepino. Sorry for the interruption. Sorry. Pepino, come here, come here, go around. <laughs> so the most important thing about our friendship i really value like spending quality time with people and i also really just value my time in general so i think it's really important for me that i feel like the other person values that as well and chris really values her time um and i don't like fake friends so loyalty is <laughs> really huge yeah loyalty is a big one for me too um, actually, and I think that's where we relate a lot. Able to discuss anything, whether it's like mm. funny or serious or vulnerable, like whether I'm crying, like whatever emotion I'm feeling, I know I can go to her and she makes me feel comfortable or she laughs with me or she cries with me. Yeah. Open door. So, it's an open door. Yeah, so <laughs> we just did that at the same time. Hey, don't cry. <laughs> so, good question. Thank you, Leigh. Where is she from? Oh. De donde eres? I didn't want to answer that. De donde eres, um, Kat? Soy, soy de. Soy de Carolina del Norte. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> North Carolina. Pepino! Hey, he's here! We have a guest appearance. Come back, come on. Ow, Pepe. no biting. Pepe. We're trying to teach Pepe. him. <laughs> Pepe. And he's from Monterrey. Say hola. Pepe, de donde eres? Bless you! Salud! Right. How did we become friends? It's a good question too. The good old soccer world. But I was playing in Prague, um, Czech Republic for AC Sparta. And then I hopped on a plane in January and the rest is history. We both were on the same team. Um, we happened to be roommates too. That was pretty cool. Woo! Yoo so we were together all the time. And then, yeah. Yeah, we just clicked. It was one of those things where, yeah, we just became teammates, we became friends, we became roommates, and we realized that our minds were super alike, the, what we like to do, the way we like to live, opinions, and just like, I, I don't know, the whole lifestyle in general just seemed to correlate pretty well. So, we became besties. Yay! Now we're in Mexico. Now we're in Mexico. That's crazy. <laughs> jugador or jugadoras 
favorito de todos los tiempos. You don't understand that, right? What's your favorite male or female soccer player in the world? Of all time. Of all time? Neymar is my favorito. Um, también Ronaldinho, just classic. And women, Mia Hamm. I grew up watching Mia Hamm, Mia reading Hamm. all her soccer books. She was my inspo. The whole 99ers were amazing. Yeah. Women's soccer player, Mia Hamm's best friend, Carla Overbeck, she was my assistant coach at Duke. Um, she played center back, but she was just like ruthless, or she is ruthless and fearless on the field, but never really saw like the glory. Um, she was team captain, really thought that was cool. Franco Oficial said, I love you. I love you too. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is a good question. If you guys could swap a quality, physical feature, what would it be and why? Woo! What would you swap about me? Um, I, I already know my answer, but I, I me was too. thinking, do I say this? Okay, but, well, it's a physical feature. Let's say it at the same time. I know. Okay. Ready? I know. I just know. Okay. One, two, three. Eyes. Your smile. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just... I'm so sorry. Chris is very smiley and her him. teeth are very white. So it's like, if she's smiling, you, you feel it. It's infectious. Aww. It's cool. Your eyes are like the sunlight. Goddess touched them a oh million my. times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I, hit, I just like bit your face by accident. Pepino. You won the vlog. We need to get you a little gold chain too. What's the most challenging thing to you about being an athlete? So challenge, I talk a lot about this. Uh, I tore my ACL recently and I uh, I think that's a pretty hard word because I don't really view things. I think challenge has a negative connotation. Challenges are of, opportunities. Yeah, challenges are opportunities. So I think obviously like being the greatest or striving to be the greatest at anything is super hard and it's not meant to be easy because not every, like the greatest implies one person um, and if that's what you're striving for it's never going to be easy but I think every day is a new opportunity um, to become that and it's it's up it's however hard you want to work for that so I personally loved love chasing being the greatest and being the best say I'll never get there but I'm gonna chase it every single day and that's how you get better every day view challenges is the same as opportunities, um, but it's definitely, challenges are just one of those little things that are just, I mean, they can be like, like naggy, you know what I mean? Like they're just, they're harder than having, like living an easy life basically. So um, the challenging thing about being an athlete for me is just those days where you absolutely don't want to do anything, you don't want to exert any effort in anything you're just you're feeling lazy you're cozy in bed you don't want to wake up at 6 a.m to go to go train in the cold weather or super hot weather just flipping my mentality some some days like that is so hard it's just like yeah i would rather stay in bed but that's the easy option so i guess just like the most challenging for me is 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 making myself have the effort to have a good mindset on those days where I just, my mind is just telling me otherwise. ¿Qué te gustas más de rayadas? Me gusta mucho de rayadas, pero um, la verdad es, de, es que me gustan las personas y mi, mis compañeras. Ellas son perso personas muy feliz y confident and, just, and they're just good people. And so mis compañeras son mi favorito. Cosa favorita de rayadas. What about you? <laughs> Actually, I met um, a lot of them yesterday, and um, I was like, I feel like I'm on the team. <laughs> I don't even really speak Spanish. Yeah, and they're so welcoming. Yeah, so nice. So I'm so happy she's here, and you guys make it great too. So, how tall are you? I get that question so it's not much. On, bro. Oh yeah, it is. Seventy ocho centimeters. 78 centimeters. Five ten. How tall is it? Oh. I think they were asking me. Ask. <laughs> very, very tall. I'm 5'3". So that's 63 inches. I don't know centimeters. I don't know. 
know either. Or maybe it's... Yeah, I don't know. Legal. No I'm say. a legal midget. <laughs> no sé. Pepino, ¿y tú? ¿Y tú? He's so small. Muy pequeño. Muy pequeño. Jeez, that sun is bright. Wait, move your head. Look. Ah! Ah! Bonita, bonita. Okay, vamos. Vamos. Messi or CR7? Cristiano or Messi? Para mí es Cristiano. What about you? Uh, I like Messi. Can we film a video shooting penalties with you? Um, yeah, for sure. Hit us up on our inbox, uh, on our Instagrams, or just comment below and we'll somehow get, it, get in touch. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿En español? Sí. Very good. Huh. Más o menos. Uh. In English. How deep are we going here? Dude, go deep. Go deep. Go in. I'm really good. Um, so I'm in Raleigh right now, and I wanted to come here, and I just did it. Um, and that's the type of person I am. It's like, yes, I have a job, but I also still have a life. So I'm going to figure out how to make everything work. And I love that and I'm having a lot of fun with life, but trying to work really hard and be the best I can be. So, I like that answer. Good. You're doing it. You're living it. Right now. Literally living it. Living it. Let's living talk it. about you. Come on, stop. <laughs> Muy bien. No, um, todo bien, todo bien. Después de mi accidente, yo, yo sentí muy raro, como muy, just como off. Really off, like not myself, pero um, I feel more like myself again. But I think the accident really shook me up. It really just like <laughs> got <serious. laughs> shaken. <laughs> yeah, it really just um, yeah, it shook me up. So I feel like I'm I'm getting I'm recovering now, I'm recovering a little bit every day. Is coming to Monterey one of the best decisions of your career? Yes, actually, I think it has been. Um, when I got the opportunity, I I even told her. I was like, Kat, I just have this gut feeling that like I'm meant to go to Mexico for some reason. Like, well, first of all, it was an amazing team. It was an amazing opportunity. Um, you guys are amazing. But I just had this really weird feeling in myself that just like was pulling me to Mexico. So, and since I've gotten here, so many opportunities on and off the field have presented themselves. So yeah, definitely. I think it's one of the best thing, best decisions of my career. What's the activity that you guys enjoy doing together the most? This I life, like, like yeah. everything. Like we're, we're the type of friends that can have like the best time going grocery shopping or like, I don't know. I feel like from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed, it's just like, we're either laughing, we're either talking about our company better every day. We're talking about I don't know, we, we just like talk and talk and talk, but I think the thing, the activity we like doing the most is just, um, well, playing soccer, brainstorming together. At least for me, it's like brainstorming together of, of where we see ourselves in the future or where we see our company in the future. Just like hyping each other up. That's my favorite activity. Yeah, um, my first thought, I was like talking. Oh my God. Like we sat outside the other day for a remote. Like obviously we're not just, there's no moments of silence. There is some moments of silence, but I even love the moments of silence. Cause I know she's thinking, wow, this view's amazing, or this vibe is amazing. And I'm thinking the exact same thing. We kind of have similar goals and she supports me with mine and I support her, her, her with hers. And it's like, okay, like how are we gonna achieve this today? How are we gonna achieve this tomorrow? Like what are the active steps? Like how are you gonna measure this? And like, we're so okay with doing that with both each other. So it's like super, motivated and powerful like that's how I think we both feel in the friendship so it's cool it's cool okay last question would you rather fight 100 duck sized horses oh. or fight one horse sized duck dang that's crazy um, wait 100 duck sized yeah, horses Josh zero Josh that's a crazy question I would love to see 100 duck sized horses they seem like they'd be the cutest little things ever. Wait, a duck sized horse. Okay. I'm like trying to picture- It's like a little bit yeah. but like horse. Ha, huh, I'm gonna go with the good old David and Goliath vibe. I just don't know. I think horses are pretty strong. Ducks, I don't know. 
So it depends on what type of duck we're talking about. They could really fight. <laughs> yeah, a hundred duck-sized horses would be really cute to see. Y es todo. Um, thank you guys so much for the questions. Gracias por los, todas las preguntas. Las preguntas. Um, and if you haven't, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your tíos, tías. Abuelas, abuelos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And thank you for all the support and love. Always, always, always. Um, if you want to see a specific video of either us or one of us answering questions, doing anything specific, please drop it in the comments or check out our Instagram, DM us. We're always looking for new video content or topics to discuss. New things to talk, yep, new yeah. things to talk about. <laughs> so, cool. Thank you guys and Bye. see ya.